This is uh, very few conferences continue for uh, uninterruptedly for almost two decades. I was in high school when this thing started, and uh, and I am told that um, that uh, Dr. Sabella <laughs> has been running it almost from the very beginning. The information presented here is really to the best of our ability, board focused. But as you know, trying to figure out exactly what the board examiners are going to ask is really is certainly not an exact science. What I would advise you is, is that any controversial topics, any things that really aren't very straightforward, they may be very interesting and certainly are very relevant to your practices, but may not be relevant to the boards. We're going to present a lot of that material to you just in case. And exactly how up to date the boards are also is, is not totally clear. So new information that has just has just been, you know, found, may or may not show, show up, but, but generally we're going to err on providing you more rather than less information. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're going to talk about some board review questions. I have to thank uh, Dr. Murphy. Him and I both worked on these questions together. So our first question here, uh, we're starting with bread and butter, if that gives you a hint. But this is a 13-year-old girl who loses consciousness while standing in line at a roller coaster. This is incredibly common. She reports a prodrome, says she's dizzy, lightheaded, uh, regains uh, consciousness spontaneously after about one minute. So the most likely cause of her syncopal event is A, temporal lobe epilepsy, B, lung. Okay, so 92% of you said it was neurocardiogenic syncope, and that is exactly right. Let's examine this question like an electrophysiologist or cardiologist would. So this is how I read this question. There's a 13-year-old at rest and blah, 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 prodrome of dizziness and lightheadedness and blah, 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 blah. The, the key here, the reason why I make fun of um, not the question necessarily, but <clears throat> what they're trying to get at is what they're telling you is somebody who's not exerting themselves, somebody that's not in this topic was again picked um, by the uh, course directors due to the number of questions that um, show up on the boards. And this is just to show you, um, this is um, the face of the patient, the face of the coin, so you need the face of a gastroenterologist because it's a, it's a coin that's lined up in the esophagus. And again, it's the side of the patient, side of the coin. Um, you, that's classic for an esophageal foreign body. It would be the opposite if you had it in the airway. You would be seeing the face of the coin on the lateral view. 